inside the young office is to see him working at usual. Hughes man and knock on door, which make him distract from his work. The young, yeah, what you want? Wine, I was here to ask for your permission for something. The young, and what is it? Tell me fastly without wasting my time, alright? Wine, can I go out to a club with my friends? The young, no, you are not going there. Wine, then can I go for a sleepover at my friend's house? The young, not there as well. None of your friends are good in study. Don't become like them. Wine, hey, don't talk about my friends in that way. Friendship don't only happen between same personality and behavior person. Oh, sorry, I forgot. You don't have any friends. Damn, there is no point in arguing with me. You are not going anywhere, and if you do, I want to open door for you at late night. Wine, I also have the spare keys, and I am going by the... You like it or not, Tim? Then why you even ask me? Why? Just to give you information. Oh gosh, whom even I'm wasting my time with? You see a left from Deva stumping your face and you purposely left the door open, making him sign. He got up and closed the door before whispering, Tim, what that little brat thinks she is. Time skip. During lunch time, you were sneaking lunch today because it's your turn to go. You decide to cook something special to make Jim agree for a night out party. You saw him coming down. Wine, honey, lunch is ready. Come fast and have it. Jim, don't call me by that name. You try not to get annoyed and cover your face by a cute smile. Jim sit on the table and soon you start serving him food. While you sit there unbothered, Jim, why you cook all this? I can't eat this much. Wine, you can eat it at night as well. Dang, you are planning to go, right? Why you never listen? Wine, you are my husband, not dad. You can't stop me because you also don't take me anywhere. Oh gosh, I lost my appetite to eat. Enjoy yourself alone. Damn, I just said that for your own good. You slam the table and look at him with annoyance. Then you get him. Wine, don't make me open my mouth now. You say with harsh tone, making him a bit shocked. Then you laughed. Now you were getting ready for the night out, but stop when Jim words come in your mind. You sang as you know. You don't like when you go out somewhere, especially when there is guy involved, and you don't know the reason, nor his show. You like he is jealous or something. You came out for my thought when Jim knocked on your room door. Fine, if you are here to stop me again, then go away. Jim, I am here to inform you about tomorrow's death. Fine, huh? That's but there is no test tomorrow. Jim. So you again slept in my class. Why not? No, I didn't sleep. I remember I was steady. Damn, tomorrow is my test, not any simple subject. And don't expect me to give you any quiz marks. Why? You are my husband and why is you cruel to me? Damn, because my dumb wife don't understand. I think until it need to be said this way. Why? Fine, I won't go today. But only on one condition if you teach me yourself again. Damn, as a teacher, I am ready to teach you same thing again and again. So this means you are not going, right? Why? I am not going, Mr. Kim. Tim, then change your clothes and get your books arranged for study. He said and continue to stand there. Why, Mr. Kim, please go out from my room or you want to see me change in front of you? You say this in teasing tone, but suddenly Tim walks toward you with small steps while you move back until your back get touched by a wall. You become tomato because of a sudden intimacy with you. He placed his hand on wall beside you and gave you a small smirk, making your heart start beating like crazy. Suddenly he whispered, Jim, look at you all right now. This means your airline is working properly. Now get changed. I'm going to my study. Don't disturb me for anything until it's related to studies. You know it quickly. Then you left from zero. You went and sat in front of him with your books, then you placed your hand on the table and start staring at Jim, who was solving some. Jim, it's better for you to focus on your books, rather than staring at me. Why, wow, you are so unromantic. Have you looked at this Sam in college? How much you love his CF? Jim slammed the table, making you flinch. Jim, am I Sam? No. Are you my girlfriend? No. Then why should I behave like him? Don't compare me to my student. A student can never be better than his teacher. 
Why? But I just mentioned him. I didn't even compare you with him. And what about you? You always compare me to the students who are well in studies. Still, both are different things. Now don't waste my time if you don't want me to stop this paper in MR. You part like a baby. You were focusing on your books. As soon, you fell asleep and get lost. In your sweet dreams with Tim, not until I twist your ear and shout. Tim, if I had told you to go to a party, you would wake all night, but you can't study for three hours continuously. You wide open your eyes and sit straight, which makes your head hit through your nose. But he didn't say anything to you, and place a book in front of you. Tim, solve 50 questions till I am going to take a nap. One, no, you can't live like that. Please, Tim, let me sleep. Don't be so harsh to me. Tim, no, just sit and study. And if I see you sleeping again, I will restrict you from going out for a week. He said and left. So he starts studying again. Tim soon come back and place coffee on his desk. Then he left from the room so he can study in peace without any restriction. Next day, when he went to college, he saw your friends were waiting for someone on the entrance. They were looking so angry when they saw you. You know, they were expecting you to come. But you didn't show up. You went to them to say sorry. But for your shock, they ignore you like you don't exist. Why, look guys, I didn't come because I go to study for test. Tommy, stop it, Ryan. We know that you only give your time to your study. And what about us? You make us feel dumb. It's better for us dummies to stay away from a girl like you. You try to convince them, but no one pushed you away and left away from there. Your eyes become teary and you become sad. Then you look toward Tim, who was going toward his office. Why, it's all because of him. He can never see me happy. You wipe your tears away before leaving to your classroom in anger. In class, the test paper was distributed amongst the students. Your mind went blank because of a huge mess going in your mind about your friend leaving you and you had a husband who is all bossy and overbearing with you. After the bell rings, you look down at your uncle's shirt, which is nearly blank. You begin to sob silently before a boy came and collected everyone's test paper. Exactly after one hour, Tiong enter inside class and say, Tiong, Miss Warren, come in my office right now. Everyone looked toward you and start gossiping. Why Tiong is calling you? As they know, Tiong is a strict teacher and you are an average student. You get up and left to his office. Now you enter inside his cabin and see he was looking at your test sheet. And when he saw you, he threw it on the table in front of you and said, Dear Miss Kim, why you failed this test even after studying? Why, I am not Miss Kim. I am Miss Kang. Dear Young, oh, now I know why you failed it because I didn't let you go out for a night out, isn't it? Why, Mr. Kim, I am sorry for failing the test. I will work harder. Tim, okay, go and study now then, and don't go back with your friend of yours. Why, Tim, fortunately, I don't have a friend now. Because of your stickness, you will never understand me. All your care about is study. Have you even think of me? How I felt when others go around on days and I stay at home as a bird in cage. Don't worry, I will focus on my study from now, so you don't have anything to worry about. You bore his apology while Tim sits there dumbfounded. Why, I feel now at last it was not good to make a profession. You say left from there while Tim sang in. Suddenly, so mind went with a question. He quickly started finding a friend tree. Then he saw they had done very well than you. Tim, this girl is so innocent and silly. As well, she failed a test just because of this. I will give her up for teaching once I go home. He say in frustration and start checking papers. You didn't went to home after college, first you went to library to study, and now in the evening you are sitting in park, staring at the birds and tree, cause need to make you forget everything. You saw some couples in the park, they were all away away. They sang and start thinking about you, and she never had a husband with you, who taught you feeling. You want his love desperately, your eyes become tear up, thinking about the future of your marriage. Time passed like this. You wake up and you felt a drop of water on your face. You sit back in shock when you realize you slept in grass for two. Now, you look at the watch in the park and gasp as it was already dark. You get up and make your way toward home. 
before it starts running too badly. You open your phone to call taxi, but unfortunately, it was switched off. After college, when Tim went home, he saw all the lights of room were off. He directly went to his room to see if he was in his room or not. He directly went towards his room and answered without knocking. Tim, hey Brad, where are you? Come out at once and explain about this behavior of yours. He realized he was not there, so he called you, but your phone was switched off. He sang in frustration and started waiting. After an hour, you enter inside the living room, all wet from the rain. Tim, who was sitting on couch waiting for you, looked up as soon as he felt your presence. He walked toward you in rage and shouted, Tim, where were you till this day? Tell me. Wine, I don't want to talk for now. Let's keep it for later. Tim, stop with the childish act, Wine. And tell me, you were hanging out again. Do you have any sense or not? It's raining outside badly. Look at yourself. Do you want to feel sick? He said loudly, making you flinch. You start passing by, but stop when you grab your wrist and make your turn. Tim, why and have some manners? It's too bad to leave in the middle of conversation, especially when someone is talking. Why? I'm tired. I'm tired of your disbehavior. Tim, I don't want to act like an adult. Why can't you understand? I have my personal life too. I know you are my husband and it's important for you to worry about me. But I can't live like this. You restrict me from going out with my friend without giving me any reason. Now you take me out anywhere. Behave lovely with me. Now you give me the attention I want. And because of you, now I lost my friends. As well, I feel like I'm just a student Tim. You are so confusing to me. Just tell me what we are, Tim. He sang and leave your wrist before saying, Tim, I did this for your own good. Why? Yes, for my good. Just tell me that you don't love me. That's why you never tell anyone about our relationship in college. Whatever it is. From now, give me some space, please. And don't talk to me for a while. You say this with teary eyes before leaving from there. Tim wanted to prove you wrong, but he continued to stand there watching you go as he asked for giving you space. Since that day, you didn't talk to Tim because you hurt by his behavior with you. So you don't interact with him for a time while he was sitting on your classroom focusing on your book. Not until a guy who was very popular in campus came and sat beside you. You shift aside to maintain distance, but that boy was too friendly. He started talking to you, but you ignore him. Tim went inside the class and saw this. He felt a rage of jealousy, so he shouted. Tim, from today, girls and boys will sit separately. Now change the seats fast. Everyone changed their seat. Then Tim sang in relief. Slowly, as finally that boy was not there to both of you, Tim skipped after the class and everyone left. So you start going, but that boy stopped you. Tim, everyone leave the class fastly. That boy winked at you and walked away. You also start going, but Tim grab your wrist. Why? What are you doing? Someone will see. Tim, stay away from that boy. He don't seem like a good guy to me. Why, I know what is good for me, Mr. Kim. Focus on your books, not on your student life. You say, and laugh from there. During lunch time, he was having your food alone in the corner of the canteen. But not until a girl come and play with it in front of you. Why, what is all this? Girl, you were so lucky. Read it and don't forget to go. She say and laugh then. You read the chat and see it say, come to meet me in backyard. You sign thinking it must be Tim, but you decide to go and see what he wants.